In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most consistent passing concepts out of the gun bunch formation to attack both man and zone coverage. It's been one of the best passing concepts for the last probably three to four years in Madden, and uh, it's going to be really, really good next year. The concept is Pat Sale. This is found in the New England Patriots playbook. The main reason we're calling this play is for the post route on the left-hand side of the screen. So you can call this out of other bunches, such as the West Coast has a play called uh, Deep Attack. You can utilize that play uh, if you want to. Uh, but this is what I like to do out of New England. So Pat Sale is the concept. And we're really just looking at this post right on the left side. And then we're going to kind of build around it with our route combination. Now, if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch Offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to do so. And it will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below. All right, guys, so how does this play work and how are we going to set this play up? What I really like to do with this concept is a couple of different ways you can run it. I think the easiest way to run this is we're going to go ahead and block our running back because we want to have the extra protection. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag our tight end. We're going to slant our outside bunch receiver, and then you can leave this little kind of glitchy fade route if you want to, or you can re-hot route him to a straight-up streak. And essentially, our first read is going to be this drag across the field. If we could throw that drag quick over the middle of the field, we are going to take that every single time because that is going to force our opponent to basically have to do this adjustment right here where they are going to have to cloud flat or soft squat or hard flat the bunch uh, or the solo wide receiver side and then they're going to have to have some man coverage on the back side the problem with that specific coverage concept is now yes that's going to take away the tight end but you can potentially leave this guy over the top one-on-one -on -one because now you can't roll your safeties like you were able to uh previously so for example you know as you saw right there if it's cover zero and they're playing you in press man-to-man -man coverage if that receiver gets a free release or if he gets off the jam, that could be a potential one play touchdown. So you always want to have that because if he beats the press animation, you can take that over the middle. The beauty that that's going to now leave is now your slant route has a lot of room to work over the middle of the field if they do decide to put some kind of safety help in place. Now, I will say that this coverage, specifically this cross man, is pretty decent um, for defending um, for defending this specific post route uh, but it's but again there's other things that they're going to have to do defensively to stop this but this right here you'll see Harold Carmichael he's still going to get the inside leverage if you freeform that over the middle a lot of times he can catch that in stride running across the formation against the defense now not to mention the fact that let's say they're just playing you in a standard you know man coverage over there on the left side or maybe they put that guy in a third or whatever they do this guy is going to beat his man consistently if he's manned up from the from the actual corner position. Now, another adjustment co concept that a lot of people like to run against Bunch right now is we're seeing basically something like this, um, essentially utilizing thirds over here on the left side to try to combat the C route out of Bunch that is so effective. What you'll see with this specific play is when he cuts inside, you just inside pass like that, you're going to click on and basically catch that so that it is away from the deep route knockout or the deep zone KO that is over the middle of the field. So again, the best adjustment that I've seen to take this route combo specifically uh, to give this a little bit of trouble is some type of cross man on that solo wide receiver with some type of help over the top. Um, but there are also times, as you see right here, where he can just roast the man coverage over the middle. Now, if they're pressing you, one other thing I did want to show real quick, uh, that's actually a great lead into what I was going to show you here. So if you watch on the right side, I'm not going to restreak CD Lamb. And I just want you to see something real quick. You're going to notice that he will get a kind of a super win. You can freeform that up and over the top. If they're going to play you in press man and they're not going to put any safety help over the top, that's going to be a touchdown every single time. So now they have to put safety help or they have to shade over top. If they shade over top where they're basically not pressing you, these routes are going to run a little bit better together. And that, that uh, post route's not going to really run into the streak as he was previously. So what you'll see now, as I get absolutely screamed at, you saw that Carmichael's running wide open over the middle of the field. Now, this play really excels against zone because the streak is now going to have even more 
ability to be able to clear out zone. So the streak's going to clear out zone. That post is going to come under zone. You're just going to ag it and basically ag back to the ball so that the KOs can't light up and take this away. This is a really, really good concept against literally any zone. The best way to defend this play, uh, specifically Pat Sale, is to have some type of cross man on the solo receiver. But I'm going to show you why that logic is kind of faulty here in just a second with an alternate setup that I'm going to give you. Uh, but what you're going to see is right there, you know, easy, able to attack cover three, able to attack cover four. If this cover two, even cover two, this is going to be pretty good. Um, because again, that streak's going to clear out all the space in the middle. That guy's going to come underneath it. You're just going to ag and you want to just want to ag back to the ball so that it is away from the KO. Now, like I said before, the best way to defend this route is really to basically do this right here where they're going to have man coverage, but they're going to cross man over here and they have the hard flat to take away the tight end route. And then maybe on the right side, you know, maybe they have some kind of outside third or something. But this does leave some other things open. I'll show you real quick here. You see, that's a really hard throw to consistently make, especially if they have a deep route KO. Like, it's a really decent coverage shell. But the problem is that specific adjustment can actually leave the defense very, very vulnerable to something else that we can do, which is to call the same exact setup. Everything's exactly the same, except now we're going to utilize this hot route master uh, C route. And he will just destroy the man coverage, as you can see right there. Because if the man coverage has inside leverage, we're going to run an outside breaking pattern uh, to be able to attack it. So if we are truly getting a lot of, you know, a lot of coverage like that, that's a great way to kind of combat it so that it's not um, so that it's not so hard to move the ball. But the other the other big key to this is that the longer you wait on the route, the more separation it should get over the middle of the field. Now, the last thing that I didn't really quite spend a ton of time on is this idea right here that I'm about to share with you, which is basically, let's say they defend the they defend that solo uh, post. If they defend the solo post, this is my favorite check down in all of Madden 23. It's this motion out slant, super effective because it gets under yellow zones and it gets a tax man coverage well. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get more on the gun bunch, make sure to join the Patreon. That's where you'll get all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Head down to the description and go click the link below to check out the Patreon page.